Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, new week, uh, still January, January 30th. A uh, bit of a risk off tone to start the day. It's going to be a wild week, uh, but the bulk of all of the moves this week are going to happen on Wednesday, Thursday, right? So don't expect massive fireworks today. Um, in fact, any big extensive moves early in the week, I think, can be faded. Uh, but let's go on and see what's happening. Aussie's lower today on a little bit of risk off. Um, there's some important levels here that are, we're just kind of approaching. 81 last week was kind of the line in the sand. Uh, I don't know, like some random bids were there. We kept trying to sell Aussie last week. Didn't have tons of luck with it. Uh, we are short Aussie again. We will be adding through 81 probably during this call. This should get done. 81 and a half now. Uh, short Aussie looks okay, especially with equities. Uh, gapped down, kind of filled the gap at the open, um, kind of half percent lower. Aussie CAD, Aussie Swiss, same way. Euro, uh, let's pull up the weeklies, which... I rarely do on these calls, but it's worth noting that's a perfect doji. Last week, small, but still perfect. What's the low end of that doji? 108.35. Let's see what happens down at 40. Um, we've had a real money bid at 40 all week last week. Those of you that are paying attention um, saw the price action down there every single time. Um, somebody's there doing their thing billions of euros who knows why or how or what uh, so let's just watch that 40 level see what the price action tells us um, are they still there are they not there uh, let's keep an eye on that I do get the feeling that uh, euro is going to take out the, the downside first uh, there's Aussie 79 given um, but I can't really join this thing full steam until we see what happens ECB and FOMC, which is, you know, midweek. Dollar-Yen is dancing to its own little beat here. Who knows? This could go anywhere. Um, no real great technical levels. Don't really understand uh, the global macro story there. Uh, I feel like... This is going to go to, eventually this is going to go to 112, just because this is what dollar yen does. Could that be, um, you know, debt ceiling issues? I don't know. Questioning of uh, you know, long-term dollar value. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, don't really know dollar yen, so I'll just shut up. Let's look at Kiwi. Already, already through key levels. Um, 164.50 is sort of the next one. I guess you could draw this line here. Uh, there'll be plenty of people looking at this. Uh, it's only really a two-pointer, but it's still kind of indicative of this big uptrend. If we go risk off, and if Aussie continues to lead 78 given Aussie, um, we'll see. Sterling, uh, it's clearer. Uh, 124.55, still super important. Um, it's close, right? It's, it's only 123.74. Right now, we're, we're not doing too much. Um, so, Euro dollar and sterling, at least we know what we're doing. The, the, the lows, recent lows, 123.47 in euro kind of coincide with the with the 40 line in euro dollar 108.40 which is 17 points away euro swiss we do not buy on dips this week we got paid last week buying on dips all week uh we're worried about euro dollar uh and we need to see what the ecb is doing um before we get really conviction because if euro goes left hard and we get risk off hard even earlier in the week. Euro Swiss could easily go down to 99.50. So just be careful with that. Gold's doing nothing, waiting um, for the Fed. Um, and 
and just in general, not much to do here. Dollar China, same type of real money flows up at 679. You've got to watch 679.50 in case the dollar collapses, which seems incredibly unlikely. Uh, don't know. Crypto's doing just fine. Matic really moving. We own Matic and Ethereum. Ethereum, we did not get any on the dip. Looks very solid. Matic up 20% last week. Looks also pretty solid. We just sit with that stuff um, for the longer term. Main focus today is short Aussie. Uh, won't be trading the tens until non farms. Uh, so we're just kind of watching the general risk off pattern here. So short Aussie is our main focus. Uh, we're short tiny equities, but nothing, not really a real position. We didn't really get enough on on Friday. Um, but short Aussie is, a, is our horse. Don't need to beat uh, this horse to make it dead. That's all really I got for you today. Uh, the meat of this week is Wednesday, Thursday. So save your bullets. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Do not go into FOMC with a huge dollar position that you're fucked on. Uh, some dumbass fade you put on that you can't get out of. Stay nimble. Uh, hit and run until Wednesday, Thursday, uh, where we're gonna we're gonna make some big big money. All right. Later, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.